Hi my golden friend, welcome to the second part of our Scotch Gambit Trap series. We go over traps to find what to do, what not to do, and uh, to learn the uh, opening with all possible traps, dangerous, deadly traps in the opening. This part is very tactical. If you are not a tactical player, this is not good for your heart and don't watch this video. So let's go forward and um, we've continue the line that we have discussed last time. We don't follow the main line of Scotch to prevent the rowish lines. We follow the main line of Italian game and with a twist, we play d4 at this position. And last time we have seen that bishop takes with take and knight takes and we played queen h5 and black played queen f6 to defend the f7 as pot. And similar to last video we castle and black takes the c pawn and we develop the knight. Last time black went crazy and took the pawn on the no, rook on a1. But this time we say black understand the general of position and tries to kick the queen because queen uh, last time we had this problem black has this problem that queen has a queen of white has a, a strong mating attack at f7 and that um, together with the help of other pieces um, uh, leads to a failure for black so what if uh, black tries to kick away the queen first and then grab the rook has time to grab the rook right before uh, going to pawn g6 let me show you a simple line that if um, black tries to kick away the queen with the queen it doesn't help because this check cannot be defended with queen should be defended with the knight and then that's the end of a story because we bring the knight at, uh, into the game and we are saying that we want to mate but if you try to stop the mate you will lose the rook and the position so let's go to the main line that we want to consider it's not it, okay it's still this is not main line main line is different i will reach to that main line but let's say uh, black tries to play g6 we go back with the queen seems that no black is easily happily grabs the rook but then we have this open f file we can create this open f file Black cannot defend this f file because we open it anyways, and this is the main reason that black should not put the queen on f6 in first place. We will consider when mm, they put the queen on e7 as well. We grab the pawn, king goes away. So far, everything was natural and obvious. From now on, uh, you should uh, fasten your tactical belt and alertness and to continue it's getting quite tactical so but white has many good options this is the good point about this um, one this position because it's not just like one winning line but there are many winning lines for white attack the queen don't worry if it uh, gives you a check it doesn't hurt just move away the king and then black should do something we may consider black develops the knight engine suggests a crazy move of knight c2 but uh, yeah you just capture the knight and then continue the attack as before because the engine doesn't find any good move uh, develop the knight on e7 so um, we don't have any attack right what is the plan here plan here is to wide open the center so push the pawn the, and attack the king and if um, push the pawn forward it doesn't matter we bring the next piece to the attack cannot defend this pawn because this is an easy mate right uh, there is no way to defend this mating attack uh, queen c7 is mate and if you try to defend it then here is mate so cannot defend that pawn uh, and instead of defending the pawn black should play aggressive you may say that even before that when you push the pawn we have other options for example rook playing there then we just simply push the to the king and if king goes back then bring the bishop in you cannot grab this um, bishop because it's the pawn is queen and the rook is gunner as well as the attack is running uh, and it's made soon also you cannot come out of this um, uh, uh, hell because we first 
uh, we could give it check with the queen, but better is to attack the queen of black. Queen of black cannot uh, leave the uh, leave the uh, c4 square undefended because if, for example, if goes somewhere else, queen comes in and this is end of a day. This is mate basically. You should defend it with the queen, and this is end of the day again. So uh, at this position, oh sorry, at this position, black queen should protect the c4 square but then your rook comes in and uh, again similar situation as before and there is no defense of this check except giving up a queen so uh, rook f8 here to be aggressive is out of question another direction you may think is that a pawn simply takes but then uh, you already have the open file and you achieve your goal and there is no way to defend this position so the best for white is to not open, to not be aggressive. For black is you now just try to close it as much as possible. But still this doesn't help because we bring the rook in. We bring the rook in and this position of you have seen that pushing c6 is not possible. This position you may bring the rook here to be aggressive. But then again it doesn't help. We first defend the bishop with check. King should go up. What happens if king goes down? It's very uh, tactical and beautiful. You simply take, takes, and this is crazy mating pattern. I mean, you could win with thousand ways, but this is the crazy mating line. If knight goes back, check with the queen. If queen goes back, beautiful capture and mate. Yeah, this was a crazy line that I wanted to show you. But of course, uh, black doesn't go down, goes out. But uh, still, it doesn't help much because, you know, you first kick the queen and next move, uh, rook c1 is coming. And uh, there's no way to defend this mate. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this part as well. And you sharpened your tactical skills so far. But uh, we will continue this line, uh, queen h5 line. Next time we will cover queen e7 with black. And that's more challenging one. Uh, also, no, the next time I should cover a different line of queen f6 actually. And then later we go to queen h7. So, see you next time. Bye.